146. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Hello, 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 everybody. So, Adventurers Wanted, what are we doing? This is a tabletop role-playing game. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, we're telling a story together. Uh, the four people to my left and to my right are playing characters in this story, and I play the world, uh, the people they meet, the monsters they encounter, uh, weather patterns, drinks they drink, etc. Everything else is handled by me. Um, We've been running for 146 hours, so um, <laughs> there's a lot to catch up on. Um, so this, they are all crew members aboard a ship called the Spirit of the Horizon. The Spirit of the Horizon was taken away from its uh, home plane of existence by a spell that they cast to escape an elder god that they awoke, at which point they ended up in this strange new world and have been having various adventures around the world over the last 146 hours. At this point in time, they've been invited by snake people called Nif to come to their home island and try and save them from a cult that has been destroying their country. This cult is a cannibalistic, aztec -y kind of cult, basically. And at this point, they have failed to do so, awakened another god that is now attacking their ship, and that's where we dive right back in. Okay. So... <coughs> Can I have the names and characters and something about them from these four players, starting with you? So, my name is Jack Artali. I'm a rogue halfling. Mm -hmm. uh, and last time I was seen was in the School of Illusion. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was on a magical island about 10 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I was trying to figure out stuff in the desk, head desk, yeah. of some officer. And then they just run. They just ran away without me, so <laughs> I was stuck there. Sad. I think you would, I have, you would have been teleported back to the ship because oh. that's the uh, mechanism we use to make sure that this works. So uh, yeah, you were teleported back to the ship. Nice You're magic. fine. <laughs> that's good. Um, I'm Chloe. I'm playing Relora Ellenfall. She's a half elf bard. She's also the commander of the ship, despite having zero naval military experience at all. Um, the captain's just been a bit trigger happy with promotions. So she's doing her very best to try and keep it together. <laughs> That's her. Uh, I'm Naomi. I'm playing a gnome wizard called Brina Froddle, um, so which means she's about two foot high. Um, and she heads up the magic research on the ship. Um, and, yeah, she's having, a, she's having a lovely time. None of this is affecting her negatively at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Jack. I'm playing Arthur. I'm a uh, fi uh, human fighter. I'm the cartographer on the ship. I sign up for this job because I just want to be nice and simple, doing some maps for <laughs> family back home to feed, and I'm oh no. off all I can chew with uh, these uh, snake people. Oh no. By any chance, are you wearing a red shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. Uh, that's what you say. Right, hit me in. As we return to these four people, uh, you had some allies, friends of yours from the ship, on the island looking to deal with this uh, cult situation. What were all of you up to, let's say, in the last minute? I was briefing the captain on what I'd seen on the island, mm -hmm. um, and I think I was basically having to repeat myself, going, no, giant snakes that are rocks. No, giant snakes <laughs> that are rocks. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right. That's what we were fighting. <laughs> there was indeed a giant snake that was, was also a rock. He would believe yeah. what I was relating to him. So I'm just repeating the same thing to the captain. So you're in the captain's cabin? Yeah. Excellent. So Where were you? I was teleported back to, to the bottom of the ship where mm -hmm. I was hiding. Mm -hmm. So I was hiding the whole time. 
you're a First resident doctor. stowaway, aren't you? That's right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you're still there, just chilling? Uh, I'm just recovering from the whole, the whole illusion thing, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I have a hard time figuring out what's real and what's not. So <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun hour for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you. You may have made some terrible decisions right there. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, I was holding um, a meeting of a new organisation on the ship called the STA, the Short Thieves Anonymous. Uh, <laughs> I've noticed that a lot of the halflings and gnomes on this ship uh, seem to be turning to thievery or seem to have been predisposed that way, so I'm trying to help them and make, make the ship a better place. They're in the middle of our meeting right now. <laughs> I'm just going to write that down. The STA? The <laughs> STA. The short, STA. Short Thieves Anonymous. Short sure. Thieves Anonymous. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Arthur? Yeah, I was, uh, I was trying to map out some of the geological features of where these uh, the snake people's uh, little tribes are, but also this kind of cult where they're, where they're, um, know, where they're living, their little defenses sure. and things, so to use that in some sort of plan to, do you say, rescue our friends? Are their friends captured? Oh, no, they weren't captured, they were just on the island just dealing the, with the yeah, cult, okay. however. As far as we know, everything's I mean, it felt, fine. It felt like yeah. being captured, being shoved well. into a death trap of a temple. Well, you know, Aztec temples will have their death traps. That's just what happens, I'm afraid. It's just the rules, you know. <laughs> Everyone roll me a d20 and give me a perception check, please. So that's this one, yep. Yeah. And then you're going to add start. your perception, which Natural is Natural 20. Plus six, Critical success. Good start. Critical failure. Critical failure. <laughs> Six. She's very concerned about these short thieves. So eight. <laughs> eight. 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 Oh wow! Eight. Yeah. <laughs> right. The three of you continue to go about your business, not really noticing anything different. Jacka, from from above you on deck, you hear a sort of loud thump. What would you like to do? Uh, I think I'm gonna run from that noise. You're in the bowels of the ship. There is nowhere yeah. else to go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to run up. You're going to run up. It's on the top. But, but away from that noise. Like I'm just trying to circle back. You're going to circle back and get as far away. So I, when I come up on deck, I'm far away from that noise. See cool. I mean? uh, as you uh, make your way up the stairs at the end of the hold to make your way up, can you roll me a dexterity saving throw, please? Absolutely. As you are making your way up towards the deck, there is a loud crack and the entire ship is knocked violently to the left Whoa. and you barely manage to hold your feet uh, on the stairs as, um, as the whole ship lists to the left rather, rather aggressively. You are all now aware that something is going on. What would you like to do? I will head straight up to the deck. Nomi Watts in and Noggin are both with me. Um, cool. So, you know, hopefully they'll run up after me. Okay. I'm, I'm opening the door of the captain's quarters and going straight onto deck to see what's happening. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to cower in fear and wait for somebody to report back to me as the situation <laughs> on deck is <laughs> So you're staying below <laughs> deck, are you? Do, yeah. You're staying below deck. Yeah, 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 I'll Great. Do, I'll, awesome. I feel very safe down there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Well, okay, those of you that have made your way to the top deck, which is now the three of you, mm -hmm. see that there are two lion-like creatures with wings currently stood on the ship. They are currently allowing their four passengers, your four friends from the ship who were here earlier, to disembark, and uh, they are all gesticulating wildly and talking. Would I'm you like to join in? To that you want to join yes, in? Yes, please. Yes. Also, you just a quick in? question: How yeah. much do these look like? Because I'm assuming this is something the law has never seen before. Yes. Um, how much do they look a bit like a griffin? I mean, somewhat, except griffins have the face of an eagle and these have the face of a lion and oh, the body okay. of a lion. So they're not griffins. Okay, so she knows they're not griffins. Okay, well, Correct. I, I still head over. Jack, are you joining in as well? Uh, I'm going to hide behind something that's large enough to hide. <laughs> Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> uh, 22. 22. There might be someone else there. You don't know. Um, <laughs> as you go over the conversation, you hear the Sphinx saying to one of the people on its back, a fighter, a burly man, saying, you have to get the ship to help. There's no way we can do this on our own. You must come across. And suddenly, over the top of the ship, wheels a gigantic creature. It has the body of a snake. It has two arms. It has sort of wing ridges that go down its back that allow it to fly through the air, like a flying snake. And uh, it also has two gigantic scimitars attached to a humongous belt around its midriff. I mean... Power Rangers eat your heart out. This is exactly what we're looking at right now. Yeah, Renora, it I think we need the ship to help. Over <laughs> the ship and zooms out towards the sea. The Sphinx both look up at it and go, you must help now, and both slowly start to take off and make their way towards it. What would you like to do? I wanted, uh, 
She still doesn't really know how being a commander works, sure. but um, she wants to send some message that every archer on the ship is to get to deck right. and be ready to fire. Do we need a helmsman to follow it? Um, well, Pyrrhus can, he's the helmsman. Okay. Uh, so he can steer. Okay. Um, I mean, she, like, the captain's been taking a bit of a backseat on a lot of things recently. True. The captain's so been very gonna, absent. She's not going <laughs> to expect that he's going to be here to help. Um, and she's just going to look through her spell list to figure out what might be good for the upcoming fight, presumably. As you do that, there is a magical pop and four gigantic constrictor snakes appear on deck. They are all roughly about five, six feet long, sort of length and breadth of a human, but they are indeed just giant snakes. And they all hiss and start turning on the crew members and we enter initiative. Jacka, you are first to go. What would you like to do? There are four snakes on board. The Sphinx has just taken off to fly off with this gigantic snake god thing. And um, there are now snakes all over the deck and your friends are in danger. I don't know, man. Are they your friends? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> We're in this together, man. You're not there. <laughs> Look, either you help us or the ship's going down with you on it. So yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to like avoid being detected okay. first. So you're already hidden, so you're still hidden. That's fine. Nobody noticed me? No, no one noticed you. If these snakes just appeared, they wouldn't have seen you either. Okay, so I'll prepare my short bow. Uh-huh. And I'll ready an attack. You want to shoot an arrow at one of the snakes? If, if someone comes into, like, close enough, I want to shoot. You're in range with your short bow. Your short bow can hit anything on the ship right now. Huh. I kind of want to be prepared for something that's not attack. Cool. So a bunch of snakes appear, attack your friends, and you go, I'll wait. No. Fine. No. Your decision. <laughs> that's entirely your decision. Well, Laura, what would you like to do? Um... How far apart are all the snakes? They're in roughly 10, 20 feet from each other all over the deck of the ship. So if I'm in one place, mm -hmm. they're all within 60 feet of me? Yes. Um, I would like to try and cast Mass Suggestion on all of the snakes. Okay. Um, they have to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, and my suggestion <laughs> is just going to be play dead. <laughs> Because I can't, right. I can't do, I can't suggest anything that is actively harmful to them. So I can't tell them to go drown themselves or jump from the ship. True. So if they play dead, then we can go for them. You know the weaknesses in your own spells. <laughs> <laughs> but she has yeah. forgotten something very important about this spell. Can they not understand me? Yeah, they don't speak language, so uh, that does nothing. Okay. Uh, but you've already cast it. Um, Sorry, uh, that's done now. You're one of those DMs. I am I one forgot. of those DMs. That's very true. You cast the spell. Okay. You can also take the spell points off because you've cast it. I will, I will. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to do a bonus action. Go for it. Uh, spiritual weapon. What does it look like? What is it? Um, it looks like... It looks like Nomi Watch's whip. Um, mm. And it's going to get around one of the snakes and going to like constrict around its neck. You're going to constrict a constrictor snake? Yes. <laughs> a magical whip appears out of thin air. <laughs> what color does it glow? Uh, it glows. It glows yellow. It glows the color of light. A lovely yellow whip appears out of mid air and whew, makes an attack roll that you can make against the uh, constrictor snake. Oh god! <laughs> She's really nervous about this. Oh, that's eleven. Eleven. Oh, so close. Just does not hit. It whips out to try and grab the snake, and it just <laughs> turns away, and it doesn't get to it. Right, okay. Uh, Arthur. Yeah, I would like to at this point. I'd no, like no, you misunderstand. The, the it's, it's not your turn, oh, buddy. No, you sorry. misunderstand. You're still below deck. Oh, You're still under the deck. Although what has just happened is a snake has just appeared in your cabin just oh, right in front of you. There <laughs> it is. Oh, I feel ready. And it's now the snake's turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your armor class, buddy? Your armor class? Uh, armor class. Uh, mm -hmm. 18. 18. The snake takes a... <laughs> and tries to latch out at you, but it just doesn't get around the table properly and doesn't quite reach you. It is now your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, I, I'd like to draw my long sword and do it. I'd like to swing above up onto the snake. Do it. Make an attack roll. So you're rolling this and adding eight. Okay. Oh, yes. Very nice. Uh, 25. <laughs> yeah, you definitely hit it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now you're going to roll uh, 1d8, which is this one, okay. and add eight. Yeah. Uh, so it's not nice to hunt them. 15. 15, yeah. So 15. 
15 points of damage. You slash it with the sword. It certainly takes that damage, but it is not looking too bad Those as are two yet. Very good rolls. Oh, right. Your fe- yeah, you should look through your features because there's a few things in here right. that can be really helpful right now. Brina, <laughs> you're on deck. Right. There are four snakes. Perfect. Are any of them within five feet of each other? I'd say two of them are, yeah. Great. I'm going to acid splash them, please. Uh, acid splash? Yes, yeah, so they need to make a dexterity saving throw. You want snakes to yep. make a dexterity saving throw. But you know, look, I'm just trying to test out the waters. What are they trying to hit? Uh, se- 17 is the 17. Uh, one gets hit, the other doesn't. Sweet. That's one better than I was expecting, right? Okay, so <laughs> uh, three, nine, ten damage. Ten acid damage. Ten acid damage. Take that. Mm, no problem, but you do miss the other one, I'm afraid, That's as fine. it manages to oh, it takes slither half. out of the way. Still oh, it takes half, half because I'm an I'm an eleventh level evocation caster, so it takes half. <laughs> right, it still gets some droplets on it. Yep. Just some droplets, though. Nothing F- too five, serious. Five acid damage for that one. Sorry. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right, the snake oh. god is still going away. The ship is not moving towards it at the moment, and the sphinx are currently flying after it. Jacko, it's now your turn. Yeah. So, is there anyone, any of my allies, mm-hmm. five feet from me? Mm-hmm. So, I'd like to try a sneak attack. You're hidden. Your attack is automatically a sneak attack. Ooh, nice. Ah. So, yeah, the closer to the other... There are two as yet unaffected, and one that has taken some droplets of acid, and one that's taken a face full of acid. Uh, The the one who has the less defense? The one who's taken the face full of acid. Go for it. Yeah, uh, with my rapier. Yeah. You're going to jump out and stab it. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, (laughs) no, no, no. I'm lucky. Oh, yes. <laughs> luck, luck. Luck. He rolled a one. Halflings get to re-roll ones. <laughs> <laughs> you have and that to is a it. two. Yeah, <laughs> <have to> <laughs> so that's a ten, basically. <laughs> you leap out, pull your rapier. You gesture forward with it. Ha ha! You've not pulled the rapier out of its scabbard. It's still there. You just let gesture with your hand. Nothing has happened. <laughs> you just uh, made a sneak yeah. attack yeah. with nothing. Oh no, that's when your attack is with advantage, so like when you're hidden oh. or something. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. my bad. Exactly. I think. Down. Yes, why not? Um, Reloria, it is now your turn. Jakar has appeared out of nowhere and um, stood there just, just gesticulating, gesticulating with wildly hands. with nothing. Um, I want to use my spiritual weapon again. Yes. And have another go at basically strangling one of these snakes. Make an attack roll. Um, that is 15. That definitely hits it. Yes. Uh, Which one are you hitting? Whichever one it was already hovering around. Cool. Um, so I think that's. Oh Jesus! Uh, that's D8 plus. Uh, that's five. Five points five of damage. Points of strangling. A snake takes a whip to the neck and isn't that fussed by it, but it does. It does hurt it a little bit because it's a bit choked. It's fine. And what do you want to do on your turn? Uh, I would like to. She's going to conserve some of her spell points. Um, that seems sensible. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's basically going to try and almost jump onto the back of one of these snakes to take both of her daggers and just tear them through what would seem like its neck. They're the basically all neck, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. But, but if they had a body, it's where you'd expect the neck of that body to be. But the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That kind of thing. Do you go she for the? Do, do you go for the one that got hit by the whip, the one that got splashed with acid, or the one that got slightly splashed with acid? Slightly splashed with acid. Go for it. Um, this is on hand. Oh, that's only a 13. That hits. Oh. Mm. And that is a 24. Uh, that also hits, yes. Uh, so that's uh, 7 points mm-hmm. and 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. So the one that got slightly splashed. Yeah, the, sli- the, the, the lightly splashed. The lightly splashed one. Cool. That one's looking fine still. You've sat on its back dragging your daggers through at the moment, but... Not lots really happening to it at the moment. It's still sort of okay with that, if you will. Um, Where are all the archers that I demanded come to deck? It's been six seconds. They're making their way to the deck. That's a very fair point. (laughs) I would also point out that at this moment you haven't given the order for the ship to chase after the snake god and the sphinxes or for anyone to do anything apart from just deal, get archers on deck and start attacking these things that are here now. That's only six seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. (laughs) Also very fair. Right, the snakes on deck are now going to attack. They are going to, the one with you on its back is going to lash out at you and try and hit you. What is your armor class, please? 15. Oh, that hits you. Cutting words. Oh, what do you do? Um, Explain how cutting words works as well. 
Cutting words is when I say something uh, mean or distracting to a creature uh, so that um, I can basically make it less, ma- make it yeah. less good at attacking me. What do you do? Um, she's not been very uh, good with cutting words recently. Mm-hmm. Um, she, uh, no, she's, she's, uh, she swears, but in a language that no one else understands. What does that sound like? It sounds like national Sort of <laughs> Russian awesome. swearing. Okay, yeah. lovely. Sounds um, like that. You make some sort of Russian swearing. Reduce that attack roll. By five, so it doesn't hit. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> oh. what, ki- what kind of attack is this? It is a piercing attack. It's biting. Uh, what did it roll? It rolled a 21. God damn it. Okay, <laughs> fine, fine. One more. One more and it would have saved yourself. So you're on its back right now. It just turns around, rolls on the floor. You get knocked off slightly. It just comes around and <laughs> sticks into your Wait leg. Out. She deserved that. It wasn't very good cutting words. No, no, it was not. I think that's entirely fair as the nature of that. You take uh, eight points of piercing damage in the leg. Eight points in the leg. Okay. Uh, the other three are going to... One's going for you because you gesticulated wildly in front of it. <laughs> What is your armor class, please? I can react to an attack. Yes, you can. Uh, Uncanny dodge. Uh, oh, you're yeah, because you take half 17. I have 17, AC. sorry. Okay, uh, uncanny dodge means you take less damage. Yeah. It's not trying to damage you. Oh. It goes in for you and starts coiling around uh, you and trying to, as excellent. in its name, constrict you. Oh. Um, you can uncanny dodge the damage from this sort. Goodness. Um, you take nine points of damage and you are currently being grappled by Uh-oh. the creature. When we get to your turn, I'll tell you what you can and can't do. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not great. Bring one goes for you as well. Sure. Uh, what is your armor class? Um, I'm not sorry, I was looking at the spells to, That's fine. to give out to it. If it does manage to in fact constrict me, uh, my armor class is 14. 14. Mm-hmm. It hits you. There you go. You have to choose before I tell you. I know, I do. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. She has a spell she can cast that gives her more armor, and that's a reaction. No, I'm not going to do it. Good, because it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> <laughs> the daring gave that away for True. some reason. True. <laughs> oh, dear. Again, you take 18 points of damage, and you are also grappled. Uh, okay. Arthur, the snake in front of you is going for you again. Oh, no. This time, same thing again. Oh, not so good. 15? What's your armor class? Uh, 18. No, once again, it tries. This time it's trying to use its tail to try and wrap around you like these ones have that you don't know about. And again, you just sort of... (laughs) You're, you know, a big fighter, dude. You're absolutely fine. It is also now your turn, Arthur. So what would you like to do? Okay, so I'm still in the hold. I've still got, like, uh, one snake with me. Yeah, just one snake with you. There's just one snake snake with you in your cabin. Not in the hold, in your cabin. In my cabin. cabin. He's messing up your sheets, man. Oh, no. Um... I will attempt to kick it off my sheets and then swing my sword because I don't want to swing the swords and hit my bed. Because I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah. That's just a disaster. But As an 11th level fighter, you do have three attacks, so one could sure. be a kick. Okay, well, I'll start off with a kick. Great. Uh, make your attack roll. You're proficient in kick, so uh, <laughs> make your attack roll as you normally would. Add the is number the next to your longsword. Is that the, which one? Which one the 20 seconds, please. Uh, so that's 19. Is that just base 19? Yeah, you definitely hit it, and it takes one point of damage as you kick it off its desk. As you kick it off, that's done. Um, What do you do next? Uh, Now I'd like to swing my sword at it. Okay, you get two attacks, so roll the d20 twice. Uh, Is that seven plus eight for the... Yeah, okay, so 15. That hits, roll again. Uh, 18. Yeah, you hit twice, so roll for damage twice on those. So with with the d8. And then one more time. Uh, 15. 15. 8, 15, 23. Yep, you've slashed this one pretty good. It's not looking very happy. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. Um, right, Prina, it's your turn. On deck, you're being constricted. You have to try. And, you can try and break this grapple if you want to. How am I being constricted? It's wrapped around you like a snake. Um, Ooh, that's fine. <laughs> your um, speed becomes zero. You can't benefit from any bonuses to speed. Your condition ends if you um, get incapacitated and you can try and break it. Look, am I touching it? Yeah. 
Great. It's touching it. It's touching it everywhere. <laughs> Not like oh. that, but it is touching everywhere. I'm going to try and cast Vampiric Touch, please. Forgot <laughs> <laughs> I had that, didn't you? Yeah, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> uh, oh, 18. Yeah, you, you, you. Describe what Vampiric Touch is like. Um, so Vampiric Touch is a spell that is a necromancy spell. What does and, it look like? Um, to me, when I cast it, it's this grey shimmering energy that emanates from my from my forearms, uh, mostly. And I push those as hard as I can against the snake as it's trying to constrict me. Mm -hmm. And then it get the grey energy starts seeping over it where, I, where I'm touching it and spills out. How much damage does uh, it do? It's going to do 3d6 necrotic damage. Lovely. It takes 13 points of damage as you <laughs> suck the literal life out of it. And I look better. And you get the health back because <laughs> you are being vampiric about it. Um, 47. Good. Good. Jacka, what would you like to do? You are being constricted by this snake. So it is still the top, uh, again, it's top of the round. The, the god is getting further away, <laughs> and the sphinx are flying further away. There are no archers on deck. There are plenty of them now come to deck to try and help you, but... Okay. Um, they don't really quite know what to do because archery in short distance like this isn't that helpful. Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> is it possible for me to try and sneak away? Like, kind of like it's currently wrapped, uh, coiled around you. You could try and break the grapple and then sneak away. Is it a strength thing? Uh, strength or dexterity. Oh, dexterity, yeah. Use your acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics. Is it a saving throw or a check? It's a check. Okay. I'm technically rolling so against. Anything below 10 would count as a check. <laughs> Boom. Ten. Then you it's can roll uh, basic. So it's uh, plus four. So oh, it's plus four. So it's uh, no acrobatics. You said acrobatics is fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so it's uh, twenty-one. Cool. Well, I rolled a one. <laughs> so uh, you just like just jump out of it. You're out. You're now outside of the grapple. You can still hide if you want to, but that's your action for this turn. Um, I'll try. You can shout for help and then hide. Yeah, that's yeah. totally fine. I'll so you nice. shout for help. Yeah. Help! Thank you. <laughs> and then you might try and hide. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, you do have... If it, How quickly are you moving? Because you have advantage if yeah. you're moving at half speed on, on a spell. There's, yeah. some, there's stuff nearby you could get to very quickly. You wouldn't okay. need to move full speed. Yeah, so I'll do that. You can roll again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seven, so it's still a ten. Since I'm oh, yeah, yeah. Still, it's still a ten. So 21. 21, yeah, no one sees you. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Slip out. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Someone say help. Hello? <laughs> uh, we're not actually like six. Okay. There are archers all over deck milling around going, What? I call, I, I, I tell Holla to steer the ship chasing the spirit chasers. You tell Holla to do something? <laughs> I promoted him to this position. You might need to persuade him. We have another helmsman. Oh, we do have another helmsman. What's so his I name? Uh, other helmsman. Uh, <laughs> other helmsman if, you if, you, if you don't know the other helmsman's name, he probably isn't there. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I tell, I say, Holla, follow that snake god. Will I get to hit it? Yes, if we get close enough. Everyone on deck get ready to fire. Cool, roll a persuasion check against Holla. He's not the nicest man. Because he's getting to hit things. With advantage. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. He's okay. The ship starts to turn slowly in the water. Um, no one's dealing with the sails right now, so it's just turning in the water. Um, the archers. Where is everyone else on this ship? <laughs> Currently what? dealing with snakes! There are snakes everywhere! <laughs> There's meant to be 400 of us on this ship. There are a lot of snakes under deck! There's one in his cabin! <laughs> right, okay. You might need to give some orders, Commander. <laughs> she really has never had been forced to actually give orders before. Interesting, um, that. I'm, I'm guessing all the action's going to have to get taken up by giving orders. No. Is it not? Six seconds? You can talk. Oh, Talking's a free action in this so game. <laughs> someone get on the sails. We need to chase those gods. So I don't know what they are, technically. It's fine. A couple of the cabin boys look at you with them. Gods? <laughs> and start climbing up the decking and start getting all of the rigging out for the sails start to come abreast. There are still snakes all around you. Uh, uh -huh. You can still have an action. Just an action? Yeah, you've it rolled over you and bit you in the leg, so... Um, 
Um, okay, well in that case, both the daggers are going to the one that was... Cool, make attack rolls. Uh, ...going for me. Ah, critical success. Excellent. And a 16. Both hit. Um, oh no, wait, that's... That, so that's 7. And 11 again. Uh, you've got critical success, so you get the attack. You get the double uh, attack. Well. I don't know that one, do I? Uh, well, again, uh, 15. 15 damage. It's it's looking not great. Not bad. Not great. She also she also she can she shouts for the captain. Okay, you shout for the captain. You're welcome to do that. I'm just hoping that he shows up. I mean, you're gonna shout for the captain. Captain, please out here now. There we go. Uh, right. It is now the snake's turn. Um, they can't see you. <laughs> they can see you. And one can definitely see you because you just suck the life force out of it. So and I'm going to again. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's still constricting you, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. So, Relora, two go for you. One snaps at you and just manages to miss. The other takes tries to take another bite out of you Hi. and hits. Can I try spreading words? I have you're it as a reaction. You're welcome to spreading words if you want to. You only get four for okay, I won't. the rest. I won't, and the last I won't. one didn't work, did it? This one might have done only just hit, hit your AC. Um, so <laughs> you take uh, 11 points of piercing damage, and the light starts to fade from behind your eye. No, no, just the light from the room. That's all that is. Yeah. <laughs> you just take okay. a bit more damage from the snake biting you. Uh, Brino, the one constricting you. Constricts. Continues to constrict you because you didn't try and break the constriction. I have minus one on strength. <laughs> you can also funny. use acrobatics to get out of it. My dex is not great either. <laughs> well, you're taking uh, 13 points of damage as it continues to yeah, <laughs> tense around you while another one comes up behind and takes a bite for your head. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I mean, currently that's hitting. Yeah. Do I see um, that going for Brina's head? Yes. I cutting words. I use a cutting word. Uh, what can you say to the snake going for her head? I'm over here. Cool. Okay. Interesting use of cutting words. Yeah. Reduce the attack roll for me. Reducing it by four. You are a level 11 bard. It's a d10. Oh, is it d10? Ooh. Could have told me that the time I tried to use it for myself. Yeah. Didn't notice the first time. It said d12. 12! That's a, that's a d12. <laughs> that isn't a 12 on a d10. She's that's really why it's called a d10. She's struggling with all the, all the responsibility <laughs> now. Eight. Eight. And that is a, a d10. Eight. 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 What's your armor class? Uh, 14 shield. Can we total this up together? <laughs> I don't see why not. Okay, so she tells the snake over there and it goes, and then suddenly, boom, the shield goes up before Migration you. Migration, we shield, yeah. It, it doesn't do anything about that, so you have shielded yourself and the attack doesn't hit. Sweet. Arthur. Hello. The one in your in your cabin is going for you again. Oh, it's not dead <sighs> yet. What's your armor class? Uh, 18. Yeah, that definitely hits you. Seven points of damage as it wraps around and starts to constrict into you as well. You are now constricted by it. Yeah, make a note next to your health of 104. <laughs> it's not mine, it's Seven. 60. It was 60 to start with. <laughs> no, his health is 104. Yeah, no, anyway, his is um, fine. he's alright. <laughs> Arthur, it's your turn. You have three attacks. What would you like to do? Okay, uh, so I noticed here I've got like my students have got, I think, some anime handling. <laughs> is, that, is there anything I can do you know, as a snake? Can, I, can that come in handy at all? Have I weakened the snake sufficiently to, to I don't know, turn it to my side since the hammer put it in a cage or something like that? <laughs> what you would do is roll a d20, add the modifier, and then we'll work out between us what happens. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, this I'm is a six like foot this. giant constrictor snake. I, I, you are welcome to roll it. <laughs> Go for it. I so like I'm, Arthur's ambition. I want to see it happen. I'm a fan of that. <laughs> I want to master the snake race. Right, so, one of the d20. Really? <laughs> yes, 20, 20. That, is a, that is a critical success, can oh, confirm. Okay. Automatically <laughs> succeeds. <laughs> yes, it does. You reach out to the snake, currently Good. crushing you. you. You cup its face, and what do you say to it? <laughs> oh, I, I just hear, 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 hear. Just, just make the kind of like hissing, like a. Yeah, in quite like gentle tones, quite a gentle, calming manner. Just stroke it on the head as well, down the, down the, the spine of the snake. 
back to sleep. I love that you, you genuinely kicked it out of bed and now you've shifted what? back to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to calm it down. And I want to, you know, turn it into a nice stew or get it used it as a pet, something like that. It looks into your eyes, it hears you hissing, and somehow it understands that despite the fact that you hit it so many times with swords and kicked it out of bed, literally, you mean it no harm. You're just defending yourself. It understands that. It respects that. <laughs> it stops constricting you and just looks into your eyes. A bit of respect, a bit of love. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Try and build tension. Okay, right. <laughs> there are still four snakes on deck. No yeah. one has taken a snake out yet. Um, We're trying. The ship is now slowly turning to go towards where these things are flying off into the middle distance. Um, Jekka, what would you like to do? I will try to uh, sneak away at the, at the range distance with my short bow. So uh -huh. I'm further away, but like a good range, not a far range. Like a range. Well, you're currently not hidden, so you can move and hide. And then yeah. if you attack, you can attack out of hiding. That's fine. Yeah, so... So you, you run towards the prow of the ship where the captain's quarters are, which take up the back of the ship, and you yeah. can try and climb up. Yeah, I'm out. Hide behind some railings. Go for that. And yep. Yeah. So that's a 21. Not stealth. Rose. Okay, so you manage to make your way up. No one sees you. Um, <laughs> and then, and then despite rolling a four, no one sees you. <laughs> make your attack roll. So I'd, uh, I'd like to... Which one are you shooting at? Uh, I'd like to try and save uh, Brina. Save Brina, the one wrapped around her. Go yeah. for it. Thank you. Yeah, so I see that she has a lot of power, and I'm like, hey, she could help me. So <laughs> he wasn't helping you at all. Just think about himself. <laughs> <laughs> Make your attack roll. If you think about yourself as helping me, that's fine by me. <laughs> cool. So... <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Add them on. So plus eight, that means... Ah, oh, so close. The arrow goes flying out, shoots past the snake's head and past your head, surprisingly close. And um, She's out already now. You, it takes no damage because you missed, and yeah. that's the end of your turn. I tried. It's so hard. <laughs> Relora, what would you like to do? The archers are currently milling around all over deck, and the captain has heard what you're saying and is coming out of his cabin. Okay. Um, and the sails? They are being unfurled, and the ship is moving forward, and Harladin is currently steering the ship. Um, no snakes are attacking him, so he's fine to just keep steering. Can I see Jovan, the head of the marines? Yeah. He's on deck at the moment, yeah. Okay. Um, I say to the captain, Captain, talk to Jovan, coordinate the archers, um, because the, the sails seem fine, right? They're doing it. Are you saying this while in combat with a giant snake? <laughs> <laughs> I shout it to him. Are you sure? You want me to hit it? Yes. Um, <laughs> the captain wields a maul. And he's a barbarian, so does a lot of damage. There's something much bigger up ahead, Captain, and we need to be ready. Right. Walks off, starts dealing with the ship. You are left alone with the snake. You Good. have an action and a bonus action. Right. Bonus action. Spiritual weapon. Still just trying to strangle a thing that is all neck. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 24. Yeah, that definitely hits it. That's double its armor class. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's a D8, is it? Yeah, so D8 plus your um, spell casting yeah, modifier. Ugh, oh, five. You continue to try and choke something, but it's rather difficult to choke. Uh, it takes very little damage from that. What's next? Uh, she's a bit annoyed about how uncool a lot of this has looked, and is hoping that if she does something that looks cooler... It's On a scale of one to cool, it's currently not cool at all. That's yeah. very true. Uh, so because she's kind of near the, the, the head, mm -hmm. she wants to take both her daggers in the eyes. <gasps> in the eyes? Yeah. Perfect. Make the attack roll. Uh, that's a 19. Yep. And a 13. They, a both, 16, sorry. they hit each eye. Yes. You have nailed those eyes. Good. Daggered uh, those eyes. That's yes. That's a 4. And a 7 in total. You adding on the. Yep. Yeah, I am. I mean, they're still not. One's like a dagger of lizard control, but I don't think that's going to help me. No, nope, they're not lizards. They're, they're snakes. Lizards. Right. So it takes those two stabs in the eyes, and they are genuinely in the eyes. One actually pierces the eye completely, and it sort of <coughs> goes, pops and goes all over your hand. The other one more catches it, but it's not blinded completely, but it has taken some damage from that. Can I, I want to use my movement, since I've seen that I've got it in the eyes, mm. to jump off it and go to the nearest snake. 
because the nearest the nearest next one that was attacking you. The, 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 the next nearest one. The nearest one that isn't blinded or hasn't been stabbed in the eye. Is that the one that's taken some acid damage? <laughs> Quite possibly. Super, you're infected that one. Fine. You roll off and go towards a different snake. Thank you. Uh, right, there are four snakes left. You're hidden. You're not. You just stab one in the eye. It's not happy. You're next to another one. There's one on you, and there's another one there that hasn't taken much damage either. Do, 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 do. Right. One of the ones on you, the one you stabbed in the eye, in fact, as you go, manages to lash out and give you a proper bite around the midriff, so it's a critical hit, I'm afraid. Oh, my God. You can cut another if you'd like to, but it's a natural 20, so I wouldn't no, bother No, I'm not going to bother doing that. True, it does not. Uh, you take it's a lot of dice rolling. eleven ooh, 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 and fourteen. Twenty-five points of damage what? from this rather vicious bite okay. that gets you in the midriff. The other one that you just ran towards tries to snap at you, but it's, it's got a distance from it. You ran towards it. Rena, the one constricting you, you take another nine points of damage as it <laughs> keeps twisting around you. That's not as bad as before. Did you get a go last turn? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I'm taking two actions this time. Just yes, you are taking two actions this time. <laughs> My bad. Apologies for that. <laughs> so it's still constricting you, and the other one that's nearby is going to try and is trying to hit you again, but also misses. Cool. Right. I'm gonna first of all, my first action is gonna be to, to, to carry on my vampiric touch. Yep. Uh, it's not I, is it concentration? It's mm, yeah, it is concentration. So I cool. think I can just do it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Lasts a minute, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool. You could just do that again if you wanted. No, I've got a plan. Okay. Um, well, I, it depends on what I'm on the question I'm about to ask you, to be quite honest. Right, hmm. so that was... I'm going to give you a helpful answer, please. Mm, I don't... Like, <laughs> I can see what I'm asking, so yes. <laughs> uh, it's third level snakes. Is that any certain? Uh, right, okay, so. How many snakes are within 20-foot 20, uh, 20 radius? Too many. Well, too many snakes. Too many. Is that all four? 30 foot radius. Um, 20 foot radius. Across the whole ship. Uh, no, just where I am on, on deck right now, what I can see. Yeah. Four. Four? Yeah. I can get all of them if I cast something that's got a 20 foot radius. Yeah, let's say. Cool. I'm going to cast Ice Storm, shaking it around yeah. these guys. He's on You're not here. Deck. No. He's not there. So. <laughs> um, right, cool. I'm shaping it around people near me. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to cast sure. Ice Storm. How many people can you shape it around? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, named characters would be a priority. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of uh, soldiers, yeah, archers, element. there ready to help. I mean... Uh, five. I can shape it around five people. Five in a 20-foot radius. Yep. I tell you what, you'll hit two crew members as well. All right, that, that, that is fair. Uncharacteristically so. <laughs> right, so. I'm not that mean. I need all of those people to make a dexterity saving throw. Right. Indeed. Uh, no, no, you're you right. You're on a different bit of the deck. Uh, one of the snakes saves, one of them does not. I thought I had four in this one. No, I'm just reminding you, I was two minutes left, sorry. Uh, three of the snakes s fail, one saves, both crewmen three. fail. Sorry, crewmen. Right, okay. Yes. How much damage is it? Uh, it's 2d8 of bludgeoning, uh, 4d6 of cold. Uh, right, that's seven, plus four is 11. Damage. How much that was cold? Uh, how much that was cold? That's 36. Because snakes are cold, eh? Oh, um, <laughs> Eight. Um, Eleven, if that was cold. So we're doubling that. So it's 33 points of damage in total to all of them. Yeah. Also, um, the, it is now considered difficult to rain until the end of my next turn. Cool. Some numbers in there. So sounds a movement, which I think might be helpful for the snakes. Three. Not so much for us, but for the snakes. Uh, two of them are just as this happens, as this hail of hail, well chosen word, and as this cold and just surrounds them, just <laughs> collapse on the ground and are completely done. Is one of them the one holding me? 
Yes. Yes. And um, <laughs> the one she's been attacking a lot, the one you've been attacking a lot, are both taken down by this. Surprise, surprise. Mm. The other two are looking less hale and hearty, um, but not that bad. How am I in hit points? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna drink my healing potion, please. One of them. <laughs> as a bonus action. Go for it. Yeah. Thanks. Arthur, in it's the meantime, yeah, you go for it. Arthur, okay. in the meantime, you are with this snake in your quarters. You have, <laughs> by all intents and purposes, charmed the snake. Mm. Yeah. What would you want to do now? Okay. Uh, so there's still two snakes in there on on deck up top. There's two snakes up top. You don't yeah, know that. Uh, I don't know. There's that. one in your quarters. That's all you know. That's all I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, I think I wanna leave that snake there or put it in a safe place, and then I wanna kind of head up deck to help. You. How does one put a snake? In a safe place. Um, there's like a, is there like a cupboard or something? I can just kind of put it in, or like I don't know. It's, it's, it's tame now, right? Can I leave on my bed and trust it won't mess anything it up? It is six it's foot long. Your cupboard isn't that rafters. bit. You want to hang it from the rafters? Yeah, I, yeah. Can I just, can I it just is leave six there? foot I'll long. Oh, I'll bring it with me. I'll bring it with me. I, I, you, you, you can leave it in your bed. Is it, is it turned to my side? Would it help me fight the other snakes? I mean, that would be tame. Oh, okay. It wasn't. Um, I forgot to add five to my total damage for that spell. I apologize. The ones that are dead are more dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> Sorry. Right, it's um, uh, new rules now. Yeah, I, can, I, can I leave my bed? Is that okay? I mean, I would bring it up with me, but I don't want it to like, turn against me and go against the charm. So, so yeah. let's just go through this in turn. So you kicked it out of bed, <laughs> yeah. you charmed it, and now you're leaving it in your bed. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, going to keep it warm for me until I get back. Dude, that, as a man, yeah. don't do that. Okay. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. It's a snake, well, though. I want to <laughs> keep it. I want to keep it alive. I, I, I think it's going to serve me well in the future. But I want to go up. I want to head up deck now. Go for it. You so, can yeah. leave the snake lying leave in your there, bed, there, yeah. and then you can make it's your way out the door. It's going to after I beat it to death. Right. So I'll go up. I'll go up deck. You make your way up towards the deck, and by the end of your turn, you will have reached the top deck. Okay. That's the end of your turn. Cool. The ship is now moving. It is now moving at quite, ticking up speed, making its way towards the Sphinx, slowly flying away, and the gigantic snake god slowly flying away. The ship is faster than both of them, so it will catch up with them, but not for the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there are two snakes left. Jaffa, what would you like to do? You are currently hidden on the main, no, not the main deck, it's not above that one. So above the captain's quarters, is that there deck. anything hanging Pinky. over there that I could drop on there? The sails that are making the ship go. Yeah, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll keep my, my safe distance and try uh, pulling a, an arrow. Do it. You're currently still hidden, so this is a sneak attack if you hit. Yes. There are two snakes still on deck, one attacking her, one attacking her. Uh, I'll protect Greena first because she just. <laughs> she just did something rather vicious to a lot of them. Yes, yeah. it's very true. <laughs> so I will attack. That will turn some snakes against you. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's still in the 11. So oh. Oh. And once again, your arrow comes shooting out and drrr, lands right next to the snake. Didn't hit it. Sad. Very sad. Rilora, what would you like to do? <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's, she would say if it's not broke, don't fix it. It doesn't feel like it's not broke, but she's going to do spiritual weapon again. With Go for it. With this whip. Um, the one that it was around, is that one now dead? Yeah. Okay, so um, it unfurls around its neck, mm -hmm. and one of the ones that is still alive, it just rears up and snaps. The proper whoosh, whip yeah. snap. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Roll um, the attack for that. Right on it. 15. That hits. Uh, and so that's. Ah, 12 points. Woo! The whip cracks out. There is a very audible whoosh noise as it goes across, and it just rakes it across the back of the neck and proper welt forming. It's not happy, not happy at all. That clearly hurt. You still have an action. Yep. Uh, can I run to that one? Is it close enough for me to yeah. move to? So run, and then, again, she's trying, like the last time she tried to do something that looked cool, mm. it worked better. So she wants to try and basically almost jump up slide across the snake's back like it's the bonnet of a car or whatever that would be in her world um, yep. dragging the two daggers with her as she goes so it drags them across the back of the snake for you Lord of the Rings fans out there she's trying to Legolas the snake <laughs> <laughs> genuinely 
usually don't wear my gloves on. Make an acrobatics check to Legolas the snake. You like doing this. You do this to pretty much everything we face. What? Legolas? <laughs> climb on his back, yeah. Climb? Oh, yeah. Uh, 16. Yep, you managed to Legolas the snake. Make your attack roll. To be yeah, fair, it works for her like every time as well. I just like. slid across his back or actually done any kind of damage. Correct. Um, 16 and 21. Both daggers are digging in as you drag them down the back. Yeah. It's just had this welt slapped across its side and the daggers are scraping down. Uh, so that's six, that's nine damage, that one. Um, as you get that, it's looking awful. It's got tears all down its back. It's looking mighty, mighty pissed off. Any movement I have left is just going past it to get away. Okay. I might not have that much. It is now the snake's turn. The one that was attacking you, Verena, is still trying to attack you. That's okay. And once again, it tries to constrict you. And I know what the role is. Can you try and shield it? I am going to try and shield it. Yeah. And you shield it, and it doesn't manage to get around you. Yeah. Um, so it tries to do that, and nothing happens. The one that you rolled down turns around and tries to attack you with disadvantage because it basically can't move. Uh, 10, 16. Uh, yeah, that'll just hit me. It managed oh. to hit you in the back with its tail sort of flopping around wildly as it tries to do something to you. You take, Jesus, 15 points of damage. Ow, I'm not, from its I'm not tail. that good right now. <laughs> no, you did just leg a it though, so it's no surprise that it managed to get something off because that's impossible. Okay, cool. Sabrina, it is your turn. Is it my turn? <laughs> yeah. uh, you literally finish it. Okay, cool. Uh, right, where's the snake? <laughs> There's a snake in front of you. There's a snake right in front of me. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna. How, how nearly dead is it? Does it look? Does it look oh, happy? Oh, like it look as sad? in as in. The one with can do the, anything. The one that's with her is looking very nearly done. The one that's next to you is looking almost as bad, but not quite as bad. Cool. I'm gonna attack it with a firebolt, please. You can shoot two fireballs, can't you? Uh, no, it just uh, goes up by 1d10. So I now do 3d10 of damage with a firebolt, plus 5, because my levitation has to... You're welcome to do that to the one in front of you. Uh, that is a 22. Well, that hits. Roll the damage. Uh, 8. Uh, 11 plus 5 is 16 fire damage. Yeah, you burn it to a crisp. Great. That one is down. <laughs> Arthur, you've just appeared on deck. One has just been burned to death. One is in front of you with almost no hit points. It looks yeah. awful. Is this the one that's going off? The one's going off there. You can run and hit it, man. You can yeah, run and no, hit it. I'll charm do it. That. I'll do that. Where have you been? No, oh, you could I'm charm it. You could charm, charm it. it. I'm not going to risk the charm. It's nearly dead anyway. This one's What are you going to do? You're going to charm it you're going to hit it? Oh, I'm going to go with my sword. Hit it. Yeah, my sword. That's uh, 9 plus 8, so 17. You hit it. Roll the damage. Describe how you destroy it. Um, as it kind of rears up in the air to lurch down with a sword, I swing around, just get it light angle and just dismember it. Dismember it? Dismember it. Doesn't have any members, it's a snake. Dismember's the right word. <laughs> dismember is <laughs> the no correct member of word. The snake you tribe. can't dismember a snake. You can decapitate a snake. That's totally fine. Decapitate, dismember, I did both. That's the, that's <laughs> Arthur, who has not been here this entire time, just runs on deck, runs up and just <laughs> boom. It's an epic finish for your name. Is that the cartographer? <laughs> yeah, and with Is That the Cartographer, we're going to end this hour. Thank you very much, guys. It's lovely to have you all here. I'm going to hand over to Kat, who's going to talk us out. And sit down. <laughs> yeah, you can sit down now. Thank you so much for joining us for this hour. Um, please do feel free to come back for um, many more hours. Um, you can either watch if you want to, or if you do want to stay, you can certainly do that. If you want to stick around for the next regular play for another hour, or maybe live play for another hour, <laughs> Can't get rid of him. And get your tickets for the end of the film to start June 24th to the 25th. We're doing 10 till 3 and then 5 till 10 every day. And you can catch us on live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash adventure with film club. Live streaming at adventure with 350 and you'll be joined by your Facebook group friends and other fans as well. Um, spread the word and uh, hopefully we will see you again soon. So thank you so much for coming as well as for the Thanks so much, guys. Cheers.